Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage Channel. The Diagnostic Trouble Code DTC P1734 indicates there is a problem with the shift control system in the Honda Accord models from 2008 to 2012. This code specifically points to issues involving shift solenoid valves B or C, which can be either stuck in the off position or simply malfunctioning. Shift solenoids are critical components located within the automatic transmission, responsible for managing the flow of transmission fluid to engage or disengage gears. Further diagnosis must include reviewing freeze frame data and snapshots with the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS, for understanding the exact nature of the problem. The associated components with this DTC include the shift solenoids and the hydraulic system that controls the shifting mechanism in the transmission. Identifying and rectifying these faults is essential for restoring proper transmission function. The primary components affected by DTC P1734 are the shift solenoid valves B and C, which play a vital role in the automatic transmission's shifting mechanism. These solenoids are electrically controlled valves that manage the flow of hydraulic fluid within the transmission. When properly functioning, they enable the vehicle to shift smoothly through its gears. However, if they become stuck in the off position or malfunction, the transmission may exhibit erratic behavior or fail to shift entirely. These solenoids are located within the transmission, typically near the valve body. This specific DTC emphasizes the importance of these components in maintaining the efficiency and reliability of the transmission system. Several potential causes can lead to the DTC P1734 being flagged. First and foremost is the malfunctioning of shift solenoid B or C, which could be caused by electrical issues or internal faults within the solenoid itself. Fluid leaks in the transmission could also contribute to unsuccessful shifts, as adequate hydraulic pressure is essential for the solenoid operation. Additionally, contaminated transmission fluid or metal debris can block the solenoids, inhibiting their function. Regular maintenance and inspection can help to identify these issues before they escalate. Therefore, systematically identifying each cause is crucial to addressing this DTC correctly. Symptoms associated with DTC P1734 generally include issues related to transmission shifting. Drivers may experience a failure for the transmission to engage or shift properly, which can lead to significant driving difficulties. Erratic shifting behavior may also be noted, such as rough or harsh shifting, which indicates that the electronic control over the solenoids is not functioning as expected. Additionally, some may hear unusual noises during the shifting process, potentially indicating mechanical problems. Awareness of these symptoms can aid in promptly addressing transmission issues before they lead to more severe damage or failure. The first troubleshooting step involves warming the engine to its normal operating temperature. This is crucial as it ensures that all components, including the automatic transmission fluid, ATF, are at their optimal temperature for evaluation. When the radiator fan activates, it indicates that the engine has reached its working temperature, which helps in accurately diagnosing any transmission issues. Maintaining the engine at this temperature is essential for reliability during the driving tests that will follow. This initial system assessment lays the groundwork for subsequent steps in diagnosing the DTC P1734. In the second step of the troubleshooting process, it is important to check that the transmission is filled to the correct fluid level and to look for any potential fluid leaks. This action is essential because low fluid levels can directly impact the hydraulic pressure required for the transmission solenoids to function properly. Any noticeable leaks or low fluid can lead to erratic shifting or even complete transmission failure. 
Ensuring that the transmission fluid is at the appropriate level not only aids in diagnosing DTC P1734, but also sets the stage for the next steps in the troubleshooting process. Proper fluid conditions are essential for reliable transmission operation. The third step involves draining the automatic transmission fluid, ATF, through a strainer to inspect for metal debris or excessive clutch material. This step is critical for assessing the overall health of the transmission. Metal debris can indicate wear in internal components, while an abundance of clutch material suggests that the clutch packs may be failing. Identifying such issues early allows for more effective repairs or replacements. If the strainer contains metal debris or excessive clutch material, the diagnostic process will take a more serious turn, likely necessitating a transmission replacement. Conversely, if the strainer is clean, you will proceed to replace the ATF before continuing the diagnostic steps. In the fourth step, turn the ignition switch to the on parentheses position. This is a preparatory action that enables the vehicle's systems and allows the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS, to access various parameters and stored DTCs. This step is critical for the subsequent clearing of any codes and helping to reset the vehicle's computer. In this mode, the electronic systems will be powered, offering an opportunity for advanced diagnostics and operational checks to proceed. This also initiates the phase of troubleshooting that requires re-evaluating the transmission system's ability to function correctly. The fifth step involves utilizing the HDS to clear the DTC. This reset is significant as it erases any stored trouble codes, providing a clean slate for re-evaluation. By clearing the DTC, the technician can test the transmission system after rehabilitation efforts. This action resets the transmission control modules, allowing the system to recalibrate and adapt to normal operational parameters. It also ensures that any intermittent issues do not carry over, thereby providing more reliable testing results during the subsequent driving phase. This step is essential for confirming whether the initial problem persists or has been effectively resolved. In the sixth step, the vehicle needs to be test-driven with the shift lever in the D drive position, allowing the transmission to shift through all five gears. This practical evaluation is vital to determine if the issue related to DTC P1734 persists after the initial troubleshooting and reset. During this test drive, the technician should observe the smoothness of the shifts and listen for any unusual noises or hesitations. Properly functioning solenoids will allow the vehicle to shift seamlessly through each gear, which is crucial for road safety and optimal performance. The results from this test drive will help inform whether further diagnostics or repairs are needed. In the seventh step, it is essential to monitor the onboard diagnostics OBD status for the P1734 code using the HDS. This monitoring will indicate whether the DTC has reappeared after the test drive. The results can show three potential outcomes, failed, passed, or not completed. If the HDS indicates failed, it confirms that the issue requires further investigation. If it shows passed, it suggests the system is functioning correctly at this point. But if not completed, it may indicate that the diagnostic tests have not been fully executed. Monitoring the OBD status is crucial to determine the next course of action, enabling efficacy in diagnosing ongoing or intermittent issues. In the eighth step, the DTC must again be cleared using the HDS. Clearing the code not only resets the system, but prepares the technician to conduct specific tests related to the solenoids. This reset measures operational readiness and ensures that future tests yield accurate results when assessing the performance of each solenoid. 
Following this, it is essential to connect the appropriate HDS diagnostic tools to proceed with the functionality tests of the shift solenoid valves. This systematic approach is vital for isolating faults specifically related to the solenoids and determining if they are malfunctioning, further guiding the repair process. The ninth troubleshooting step requires selecting shift solenoid valve B from the miscellaneous test menu in the HDS. This test aims to confirm whether solenoid B is operational by listening for a distinct clicking sound, which indicates that the solenoid is engaging correctly. If a sound is heard, it suggests that the electrical signal is reaching the solenoid and it's functioning properly. However, if there is no clicking sound, this indicates that solenoid B may have a defect, requiring replacement. This step is essential for pinpointing which solenoid may be at fault, thereby guiding the technician towards an effective solution for addressing the DTC P1734 problem. Step 10 involves selecting shift solenoid valve C in the miscellaneous test menu and checking if it operates correctly. Similar to the test for solenoid B, the technician will listen for a clicking sound from solenoid C, indicating that it is functioning as intended. The presence of this sound confirms that the solenoid is receiving the necessary electrical signal and is engaging. On the contrary, if there is no audible click, this indicates a possible malfunction in solenoid C, suggesting that replacement may be necessary. This two-step testing of solenoid B and C is extremely critical in diagnosing the root cause of DTC P1734 accurately. During the 11th step, the vehicle should again be test-driven with the shift lever in the D position, allowing the transmission to cycle through all five gears. The technician must carefully observe the transmission performance during this evaluation to see if issues related to DTC P1734 persist. It is essential to take note of the smoothness of shifts and the overall responsiveness of the transmission. Any difficulties in shifting or unusual noises could mean that further mechanical issues exist, guiding decisions around repairs or part replacements. This systematic approach helps to verify the effectiveness of any repairs conducted and the overall condition of the transmission. In the 12th step, monitoring the onboard diagnostic status for P1734 using the HDS is crucial yet again. This step functions similarly to previous checks, assessing whether the DTC has returned after the test drive. Determining if the HDS indicates failed, passed, or not completed will guide the subsequent actions. Should the HDS indicate a failed result, it confirms that the issue remains unresolved and further repairs are necessary. A past result permits the technician to conclude successful repairs have been made. If the result is not completed, new evaluations may need to be conducted. Therefore, this step is an essential checkpoint in confirming operational status. The 13th step involves turning the ignition switch back to the on to position once more. This step readies the vehicle's electrical systems and prepares them for the next series of diagnostic tests and resets. By re-engaging the systems, technicians create an environment where they can accurately assess both solenoids and the overall health of the transmission. This step reactivates the systems necessary for diagnosing any remaining issues related to DTC P1734, ensuring proper functioning. It is a repetitive yet vital action in maintaining vehicle readiness, especially for subsequent testing phases to confirm repairs. The 14th step again calls for clearing the DTC using the HDS, resetting the systems one more time. This repetition is significant as it allows for renewed monitoring of the vehicle's operational condition without leftover error flags. Successfully resetting the DTC will assist in confirming ongoing functionality or highlight remaining issues. Following this, the HDS can be used to perform 
Final Diagnostic Checks Ensuring every aspect of the shifting system has been assessed, from solenoid operation to hydraulic function. This methodical approach ensures a comprehensive examination of the DTC, allowing for reliable outcomes. In the 15th step, a final test drive of the vehicle should be conducted with the shift lever in the D position. This conclusive assessment allows the technician to verify if the transmission is now functioning properly, with all shifting behaviors examined carefully. Assessing how smoothly the transmission shifts through all five gears provides critical insights into whether the issues arising from DTC P1734 have been resolved. Any irregularities detected during this test may suggest that further troubleshooting or repair work is necessary. This step is essential to ensuring the vehicle operates as intended and demonstrating that the shift control system is functioning optimally. Step 16 requires checking for any pending or confirmed diagnostic trouble codes with the HDS once more after completing all preceding steps. This action confirms whether DTCP1734 or other related trouble codes are still present after the repairs. If any codes appear, it may indicate that the problem persists, requiring further investigation or repair actions. Alternatively, if no codes are found, this could suggest that the issues have been successfully resolved. Monitoring for these codes is critical to assessing whether the transmission is now functioning as intended, ensuring the vehicle is ready for road use. The final repair verification step involves confirming that the system operates properly without the presence of any DTCs. It is essential to perform a thorough final check of the entire transmission system, ensuring that all repairs undertaken satisfactorily resolved the issues connected to DTC P1734. Technicians should conduct a final test drive to ascertain that the vehicle shifts smoothly and operates efficiently under various conditions. Confirming that the DTCs do not return is critical for customer satisfaction and indicates successful repair. Communicating these outcomes to the customer ensures transparency and builds trust in the repair services provided. Preventive maintenance plays a crucial role in avoiding issues related to DTC P1734 and ensuring the longevity of the transmission system. Regular automatic transmission fluid, ATF, changes are essential, as dirty or depleted fluid can lead to solenoid failures and erratic shifting. Technicians should conduct periodic inspections of the shift control system, including checking for leaks and ensuring the solenoids are functioning as they should. Additionally, performing timely repairs on worn or faulty components will help prevent further complications down the line. By adopting good preventive maintenance practices, vehicle owners can increase reliability and performance while minimizing unexpected repair costs. In conclusion, the effective troubleshooting of DTC P1734 involves identifying faults within the shift control system of the Honda Accord between 2008 and 2012. Proper attention needs to be given to the roles of shift solenoid valves, B and C, along with a thorough assessment of the hydraulic system to ensure smooth functioning. The systematic approach outlined in the diagnostic text allows for a reliable examination of the transmission, with each step paving the way towards resolution. Continuous monitoring and regular maintenance of the transmission fluid and components are critical to avoiding similar issues in the future. By maintaining vigilance and conducting proactive repairs, both vehicle performance and reliability can be significantly enhanced. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.